Hi, I'm Nelani Munjin. Make sure to check out my breakfast dish on Kitchen Conversations with Foodie's Dish. Hi, my name is Nelani Munjin. Today, I'm going to be making waffles with fruit toppings. For the apples, we're going to take our apples, a tablespoon of cinnamon sugar. If you don't have cinnamon, a sugar, cinnamon sugar grinder, you can just take cinnamon and mix it with regular sugar. We're going to put this on the apples. We're going to take a third cup of pure um, brown sugar. You can use light or dark. So we're going to put this in here. And now we're also going to take a third a cup of regular sugar. Now that we have that, we're going to toss this into our mixing bowl. And we're going to stir this up, just until it's all spread evenly on the apples. Now this is three apples, so we're going to take about a half a stick of butter. Now I'm going to turn the flame on, but make sure you have an adult present when you do this. Now that the flame's on, we're going to bring our butter over to the pan. We're going to toss that in there and let it melt. Now that the butter is melted, we're going to go ahead and put the apples inside the pan. So once you do that, you're going to let it sit for a little bit. Now that the apples are cooking, another option that you have is to use mixed berries for your topping. My sister prefers to have bananas in the batter. So what you can do is you can take a banana that's extra ripe, you can peel that, you're going to put it in a bowl, and now you're going to take a fork and you're going to mush it. So I'm going to continue to work on that. So the apples are pretty good. We're going to lower the flame a little bit. They're not ready yet, but they should be in a couple minutes. So now you're going to take some batter and put it in with the bananas. It should be more than the bananas in the batter. Otherwise, it wouldn't be banana waffles. Now we're gonna stir that up. Now that the batter is ready, we're gonna pour it onto our preheated waffle iron. Make sure you have them paring around when you do this. So you're gonna let that spread out onto the waffle iron. Don't be afraid to add a little more batter, but um, it will spread out when you close the waffle iron, so. Now that we have our batter in, we're gonna close our waffle iron. We're gonna go check on the apples. They should have this color when they're almost ready. So we're gonna leave them in for probably about two more minutes. So another topping you can have is berries. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take a half a cup of sugar. You're gonna dump this onto your berries. So when you buy the berries, they come with no sugar added, which is why we added the sugar. And the water helps to make the sauce and dissolve the sugar. So we're gonna take this over to our pot. We're gonna pour this all in. So we're gonna stir the berries around a little bit and we're going to turn the flame on. So now that our berries are cooking, we're gonna um, finish our apples. We're gonna turn the flame off. So now that our apples are ready, we're gonna put them into our serving bowl. We're gonna bring them over to the counter and set them down. Now that our waffles are ready, we're going to plate them. Okay. So we're gonna flip them and then we put them. So depending on how many people you're serving, you can add more batter. This batter is plain. I decided to put it in the measuring cup so it's easier to pour. So now we're gonna walk over to our berries and see how they're doing. They're all melted and the sauce is ready. So now we're gonna put our berries into the serving bowl. Now that my waffles are ready, I'm gonna choose the toppings that I want. And here you have it, waffles with your fruit topping of choice. Enjoy! Hi, I'm Nilani Wanjin, and you're watching Kitchen Conversations with Foodie's Dish. Thank you.